Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a dynamic call to action block using Elementor and advanced custom fields. A dynamic call to action block is a call to action block where the content changes based on the page or post or condition you set to make the content change. So one of the really cool things about Elementor is that it has advanced custom field support, which means that you can use the advanced custom fields plugin with Elementor out of the box and you can use uh, ACF fields from within the Elementor page builder without having to understand PHP or delve too much into how advanced custom fields works. If you're still not sure what I mean by a dynamic call to action block, let me show you. So if you're familiar with Elementor, you'll know that you can build a template to display for all your blog posts. One of the reasons I love Elementor so much is that you can do it uh, simply without using any code and you can do it all using the Elementor builder. So one of the things that every blog post I think should have is some form of call to action for your users. So, you know, after they've uh, read the post, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to download a piece of content or submit a contact form, check out new posts, download a freebie, whatever it may be. But you might have realized that when you're building your blog post template, if you build a call to action block, then you've got to set, you know, which content displays in the block uh, somehow. And you've got to set where your button goes or where the, the action they take, you've got to program it with a link or an action, whatever it may be. So you might be wondering, is there a way to design and set up a block like this and have the design and style uh, stay the same, but to change the content on every single post or page where it's present without having to build, rebuild this every single time. And this is exactly what um, a dynamic call to action block is. So, you know, we're going to build one call to action block and style it, and we're going to be able to change the content on every single post or page without having to rebuild or restyle the block. So that's super useful and really powerful tool uh, for Elemental users to have at their disposal and to be able to do that without any code, I think is really, really uh, powerful, which is why I figured I'd do this video for you because I think it's something that a lot of you would find really useful if you understood, um, you know, that you, you have this at your disposal being users of Elemental. So let me show you the dynamic call to action block I've set up on my website. So this is my single post template, the template that I've created to display on all my blog posts using Elementor. Um, I'll just show you. So all I did was I created, um, I searched for the Elemental call to action block. I dragged it here um, and I set something up and I designed it and it, it looked and worked well. But then I realized that, you know, I've got the same content on every single post, which isn't really that effective because some of my posts are about Elementor, some of them are about WooCommerce, Stripe, whatever it may be. Um, and it would just be a lot more effective if I could alter the content of this block on every single post. So um, I did a, a bit of digging and I found that Elemental has ACF support, which is awesome. And what I did was I changed my call to action block from a static block to a dynamic block. And the way that I did that well, it was fairly simple. I created some ACF fields, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. And I, I changed the, uh, the content of the block from being static to pulling in ACF fields. So you can see here it says uh, CTA title, CTA description, button text, and link. So I thought to myself, you know, what about this block am I going to want to change? So I'm not going to want to change some parts of it, but I am going to want to change, uh, you know, what the text says and where the button link goes, potentially. So um, I just mapped that out. You know, there's four fields I want to be able to control uh, uniquely on each post and then I created fields for them. I'll just show you how you can do that now. So when you install 
advanced custom fields which is a free WordPress plugin there's a pro version which gives you a bunch of advanced features but you won't be needing them for the purpose of this video tutorial and to create a simple dynamic CTA so it's a free plugin and when you install it if you go to your WordPress backend you'll see there's a custom fields section that's appeared here and this is where you create the custom fields and just to um, shine some light on these custom fields in case you're wondering you know what the the heck a custom field is so these fields uh, will appear in the your WordPress backend uh, in the format that you set them up so because I wanted fields for my WordPress posts you know my blog posts which is a post uh, in terms of the, the type uh, it's a post it's not a page so you see this uh, rule section here so show this field group if post type is equal to post if I open up a post I'll show you how this works so I'm opening up a post and if I scroll down here you'll see I've got a a box um, a meta box that's generated by advanced custom fields for CTA title description button and link so every single one of my posts has this um, this new meta box created and if you're wondering how you connect the two you create the ACF fields you come into Elementor and because Elementor has ACF support as we talked about um, let me just delete that and show you how it works so so I've changed this back to a static heading for, for the minute which is what you'll usually see but you see this little dynamic box here if you click on that and scroll down we have an ACF section here as well as some other stuff you can pull in from WordPress um, but we're using ACF for this so we're just going to click ACF field so that's changed from static to an ACF field and then we need to select key CTA title so the key is going to be the the name of the field that you create and you want to make sure that you set the key to pull in the value of the key um, which is the value you type into the back end for each post basically so it's actually um, been made really quite simple by Elemental to do this uh, which is really super cool um, and I'm just going to walk you through it now step by step quickly so that you um, you can get to grips with how it works and you can start trying it out on your own sites so uh, I'll just delete all I'll just delete all this a minute and show you on my post template so I've taken this back to the kind of factory settings so to speak for the call to action block you can see um, you know it's just dummy text there I'm going to update it and I'll show you that on my um, my posts it's it's gone back to uh, being static across all the posts so as you can see they're all displaying that kind of default dummy content now because it's a regular static block you know we haven't told it yet where we want to get this text from on every post and because this is outside of the you know the normal post editor we can't just type it in the post editor so you know this is how we need to um, tell Elementor what to display there so this is static let's now change it back to a dynamic block uh, like we had before so like I said we want to look for the dynamic button here in content ACF you need to publish your ACF fields before you do this um, I'll just quickly go over these because I've realized I haven't gone over the, the fields with you so creating the fields is is simple and straightforward your field needs to have a label a name which needs to use this format and if you're doing something basic um, you know like a blog post dynamic CTA most of the field types will need to be text um, try and use 
um, a bit of logic there to figure that out. So uh, is it going to be text? If so, set it to text. Is it going to be a URL? If so, set it to URL. Um, you don't need to worry about any of this other stuff for what we're doing in this video. But you do need to create the fields that you want and set their field type. And when you're done, um, the only other thing you need to look at besides the, the field type um, and giving them a label and a name is you need to set where you want it to show in the back end basically. So um, you can set this um, these extra fields to display on every single page or post if you want, but it would make sense for them just to display on your blog posts. So make sure you set post type is equal to post. <clears throat> this section you don't need to do anything with, so just leave that be and then click publish, um, publish, update, etc. to publish the field group first of all. And once that's done, um, you can come into the Elemental Editor and walk through these steps. So dynamic, you want to click on dynamic to make your title, uh, your title dynamic. <clears throat> and then look for ACF, ACF field, yes, click yes. And remember to set the key um, because this is just telling Elemental it's an ACF field, but you need to tell it which ACF field you want to pull in. Uh, and these fields will all be within the field group you created. So I've got some fields I use in my landing pages that you can see here. Um, so give your field group name, you know, just a, a logical name to keep things in logical order. I called my field group for my posts, posts. Um, but this is the title, so uh, CTA title I called it, so title. And then I want to do the same on the description, I want to make it dynamic and use an ACF field. So make sure you know, you're telling it to use an ACF field and then remember to set the key which tells it which ACF field, description, button text. CTA button. Okay, and then if we click update, this will change from static to dynamic if I've programmed it on this post, which I have. So you can see that's changed from the dummy text to text that has been pulled in from the, um, the field values which are set on each post. So each post has these boxes and because I've inserted uh, content or values on each of these boxes. This is what's going to display on the front end now. Uh, and there's one field I forgot to set there, I think, which was the CTA link. Um, yep, so link dynamic. Key CTA link. So the CTA link wasn't showing up on um, the text block because it's programmed as a, it's set up as a URL. Uh, and when we made this link, which is a URL dynamic, we could see the CTA link. If I just update that, the button link, which currently isn't going anywhere, will be going wherever I've told it to go for this post, which is just my standard schedule consultation page, which is managed there. So as you can see, it's actually um, fairly straightforward and simple um, once you have an understanding of the process and how it works. I'll just give you another quick overview of it to summarize. So uh, you need to have Elementor and Elementor Pro to, to do this. And then you need to install the Advanced Custom Fields plugin. When you do that, you'll see custom fields appear in the back end. And you'll need to create a field group, which is just a way of grouping fields. You'll then need to create the fields that you want to be dynamic, give them a label, name and a type. And you need to program a rule to show where the fields will be applied, whether it's a post or a page or whatever. Once you've published the field group, you'll be able to go into your Elementor um, editor 
find your single post template and you'll be able to change content from your CTA block from static to dynamic by going into content and looking for the dynamic button setting it to ACF fields and then the key needs to be um, the the label that you give the fields in ACF and then finally to set the dynamic content on a specific post you come into the back end here for your post and you'll see your ACF fields that you created in ACF and you just need to type in a value for the fields to um, to show so I'll just show you one last time this hasn't got anything um, any values for the fields so nothing showing up right now here where the CTA box should be but if I um, give these fields values uh, dummy title dummy description I am button uh, the link needs to be uh, proper format or it won't work if I update now and refresh the block will appear and it will be displaying the content I just set in the back end as you can see there you go yeah so super super useful uh, tool uh, and a really really powerful addition to the elemental builder if you weren't aware of it and you aren't aware of the stuff that elemental can do um, this is definitely a super strong selling point for using elemental on your website Hopefully you found this video useful. If there's anything that um, didn't make sense to you or maybe I didn't cover in as much detail, please just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to do further videos or expand on it or answer any questions you might have. Hopefully you found it really useful and make sure to subscribe for future videos.